Oh! <laughs> Welcome home! Oh. <laughs> well, I certainly hope you left some land for me to buy over there. Oh. And how are you? Or oh, need I ask if you're thinking about making land investments? Oh, I'm not really. That's Johnny's specialty, land and whatever. Anyway, I'm great, getting richer every day. But what I came over here to find out is how you are. Was it terrific? Oh, it was a beautiful trip from start to finish. Oh, well, not exactly from the start, though, right? Well, didn't those people break your window right before you left? Oh, well, that wasn't too much to get upset by. We try not to dwell on it, Dee. No. Oh, of course. <laughs> you know, I came by right after it happened, and Pat never even mentioned it. You were here the day I left. Yeah, didn't anybody tell you? No. Mm -hmm. I came by to give you a going away present. Oh. A hanky imported from Ireland. Oh, that is very sweet of you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I missed you. Anyway, then Pat reminded me that you could get all sorts of Irish things since you were going to be there, so <laughs> I used the hanky. Oh, well, that was very sensible of you, dear. Aren't you freezing in here? Cold in here? Oh, it's warm as Florida. Oh, you should be in my sister Anne's house. No central heating. And this year is the coldest winter Ireland's had in years. Want me to turn the heat up? No. Oh, no. As long as I have my furs. I'm fine. You know, this coat's a real necessity. i just beginning to realize what fur does. I mean, that's why a rabbit can stay out in the cold and the wind and never feel it, because nothing penetrates it. It's a wonder, isn't it? Oh, my, yes. Yeah. You know, Johnny, you really ought to get one for Maeve. I mean, it doesn't have to be Fitch. This is so expensive, but nice mink or something? You probably want to wait till you make your first million, right? <laughs> I think you should do it right now. You want my furrier's name, too? Darling, I'm afraid I'm one of those people who do not appreciate fur unless it's worn by the animal that was born into it. <laughs> you know, Dar my green coat kept me so warm that half the time I didn't even put the line in it. Uh, Dee, don't you have some place to go, like your bank or something? Oh, my, yes. But that can wait. Oh, she's something, isn't she? She never changes. Who's she? Me? Yushi, you're wonderful. I mean, look at you. You're the mother of a U.S. senator. You just traveled across the Atlantic and back and look at you sitting here peeling potatoes. Well, we're going to have quite a crowd for lunch. The lunch crowd, you see what I mean? Yes. No. If the truth be known, dear, these new potatoes are not for the lunch crowd at all. They're for me. <laughs> I can't get enough of them lately. Really? Mm-hmm. New, new potatoes? Right, new potatoes. When I was over in Ireland, Andy's house, many a time, I'd rather have a nice new boiled potato than I would have a cup of tea. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? It was a craving. I don't even understand. It's strange. Probably needed the extra fuel to keep warm. No, it's warm here, and I still want the potatoes. I bet that means something. Yeah. Means we're going to be eating a lot of new potatoes. <laughs> but I bet it's important. <laughs> now, tell me, how is Roger? Mary says that he's taken fine care of Jack. Well, I guess so. Jack sees more of him than I do. And since you brought it up, why did Siobhan go and do such a dumb thing? Well, I mean, it's so silly. Look at that real estate company hired somebody to break your window and then lock her in a boiler room. Shouldn't she have realized that it was too dangerous? Oh, look at poor Jack. Look, Siobhan is neither silly or crazy. She, she was brave, maybe to a fault. Now, I appreciate it you didn't mention it anymore. Fine, you don't have to get mad. John. Gosh, you sound like Tom. John, weren't you intended to go and get a paper? Yeah. I'll drop off that film, I'll Oh, you. good. See you soon. Why? Dear, you're hearing things the way you do. You must know about Tom and his therapist, hmm? His what? His teacher. He's starting home training for the blind today. He told us all about it last night at our annual St. Patrick's Day party. <laughs> oh, you didn't know, huh? No. In a year. <laughs> Ooh. Lady, there's a package here for you. Oh, John, it must be the new potato peeler. Bring it on in. Somehow, I don't think it's the peeler. <laughs> What in the world? Oh, that's so pretty. Can I open it? Oh, don't you lay a finger on it. Oh. Go ahead, sweetheart. Oh. Go ahead. 
I brought my wife in out of the cold. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. Oh, that's not fair. That's oh. Russian sable. That's right. Oh. Russian oh. sable, as opposed to polecat oh. or skunk. <laughs> I suspect it's not. It's better than a. Better than Maeve's green, maybe. Oh, Let me put it down. Ah, John, it's heaven. <gasps> Oh, and it's so warm. Made to order for you, sweetheart. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh John, can we afford it? That and ten more like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I knew commodities. So you did. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Johnny. You got the world's best wife. The world's happiest marriage, and now you've got the world's biggest portfolio. <gasps> All right. Hello, Mrs. Coleridge. Hi, Mr. Grimley. Listen, I just had a funny experience with my ex-mother-in-law, and the upshot of it is that I want to change my investments. Again? Yes. Now, listen, I want you to sell tin and aluminum and put it all into new potatoes. Okay, that's new potatoes, everything. 